Yeah, so me and Kevin both have a player today. We're gonna be in their corner, helping guide them through the process that we've come up with to help evaluate an opponent, evaluate themselves, and then come up with a cohesive plan of attack. Like, this is going to be my plan A. So this is gonna be our first like field test of this resource. It's about evaluating your strengths and weaknesses um, and your opponent's strengths and weaknesses and lining those up to come up with different plays that will be advantageous when you're playing. Pretty standard like 10 minute warm up and then at that point we'll we'll fill out the matrix, you'll work with your coach on that, you'll kind of huddle with your coach, we'll talk about what's going on, what changes you think maybe you want to make and kind of reevaluate how, how everything's going. Yeah, let's uh, spin. Go, go spin. ahead, Jake. The big one or the little one? Cold pig. We got the little one. I'll take the return. So you did everything right. That was a great first game. Um, I like the first game because a lot of first serves. Uh, you used your forehand. We found out some more information about when you do have a ball. I don't think you're really going big, but pressuring him to the backhand. Definitely movement to the backhand. Some air started creeping out. Um, definitely think he's nervous. And so those are the things we want to continue. Sir. We're in a tough spot. Um, Jake's serve is quite a weapon, and uh, we got to figure out how to overcome it. Um, so we need a good service game here to keep us keep enough pressure on to hopefully give him some time to think about cooling off that big serve of his. You took it up a notch on the forehand, good level. A uh, couple little notes that I think are really important. Notice how when you go to the fore, uh, backhand, especially if you're coming in, where's every ball going next down the line? Oh. He hasn't went cross court on any of the um, balls you've hit down the line. So we want to start cheating a little bit. If you do hit it, kind of favor the down the line a little bit more so you have a little bit more of a jump on the volley. That is perfect. So at this point, just just stay the course. Stay the course. I mean, it, it worked. That's all. So you got nothing to worry about. Just keep doing what you're doing. At this point, I think the biggest thing is like your level of intensity of focus. Like, how well can you execute this plan right now? Because it's like you have him in like the sleeper hold, yeah. and it's just a matter of can can you apply the pressure. So we lost the first set, 6-2. Um, His opponent, uh, Jake, played a really, really, had some really good solid uh, service games, which has kind of been the crux of our problem, that getting a serve back. So our tactic has been to adjust the service position. And really in this set, almost per se, we're not focusing on his service game. If we get opportunities, we're gonna take it, but we have to make sure we hold our service games. So uh, he played a really good start of the second set where a lot of first serves, a lot of serve plus one action where he was using his legs, hitting his forehand really well. We want to encourage that to put pressure on the backhand and keep uh, a certain level of pace on the ball. First of all, this is just fun. We've never done this before. I'm not aware of anybody who's done this before, so I just love doing new stuff. And it's fun to see uh, these guys. They're clearly, they're both really nervous and really tight. It's exciting for Kevin and I to go and like coach two athletes trying to beat each other. So it's just a lot of fun to play this format. And it's also really cool to see how this resource is playing out and how it's helping to guide the strategy of my player. We're in a dog fight. We lost the first. We're up early in the second, 1-0, dog fight. Let's classify, categorize, be specific. So what's, uh, what happened? What, what's happened? What has shifted? What has changed? My serve. How many doubles did you have in that game? At least two, three, five doubles. You had five doubles in that game. 
Yeah. So on your next service game, do you want to be hitting second serves? I, I, no. You don't no. want to be hitting second serves. So should you be going for bombs on your first serve? No. Definitely not. A lot of energy, a lot of just awareness, a lot of focus on picking a spot on the other, court, on the other side of the court and doing your best to get it back. All right. Okay? All right. Let's go. It's interesting because we haven't really had to change our matrix setup. It's more so we've focused a lot more on execution. Um, with his, his, his weapons and the things we had, we've utilized his forehand. We're utilizing his movement. Um, you know, he's coming in and, and volleying out a little bit, but I mean, we really just focus on executing more so than um, changing or adding any more pressure. I think as long as you stay confident, then, then you win the games. Uh, and you don't shoot yourself in the foot and just make the error before he has the chance to get uncomfortable. Yeah. Your like, normal pace, he's uncomfortable with. Right now, you're playing down here at his normal pace. Yeah. And so he's, he's getting in, in a groove and he's getting, he's getting comfortable. I wish we had more time. This is playing out exactly the way we were hoping. Just a big momentum shift back and forth. Let's try to, let's try to squeeze a tiebreaker in. Don't have to put in a tie, right? No, yeah. They've helped me a lot as far as, you know, just going to like the methodology of it. Okay, look at, you know, each part of his game and think about it, you know, and kind of check it off his weakness, strength, strength. Having that direction was huge. I mean, without it, you know, you, when, especially when you don't have a coach, you're out there on your own and it seems like, well, do I go left, right, forward, backwards? Where, how do I navigate this mm -hmm. landscape of possible plans and strategies and ideas? But this just, makes it crystal clear, like, uh, this is where you need to go. And like I said, if you start getting crazy ideas, nope, just go back to it. Just go back. It was working. It was great to see the, the Matrix actually be utilized in real time by somebody different, at a totally different level, that didn't have the knowledge of it before. And so it gives me a lot of hope that it's going to be super helpful for tons and tons of players out there.